Alec Burks guarding it from the start. Wiggins again. Here's Curry for the record. It's good! And there it is! Stephen Curry! The all-time three-point king in the NBA! Three-pointer number 2974. On 2K Sports, as we get ready to go with our Saturday night presentation. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce is our reporter. This, of course, is his first personal foul. There are fans that hate on Draymond Green, but nobody can deny he's a winner. I mean, he is a winner. He's found success at every level. He gives everything to the team, and of course, he has the rings to talk all he wants. And this time of year, Grant, the evolution of strength and conditioning programs really shows its value. It really does. I mean, this is a great time to be an NBA player for so many reasons, including the ones that you mentioned. Pocket four. Here's Middleton. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. To the middle. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Portis outside. Inside. Antetokounmpo. Yes, Antetokounmpo. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. You know, I think you got to push Giannis further away if you're the defender there. I mean, he's just too big of a threat inside. On the wing, Thompson. On the wing, Curry. Last game with 30. And that one's good. Green. Well, I tell you what, Curry is such a tremendous perimeter shooter that I think his ability to set up teammates and his unselfishness are often underrated. Porta's shot is off. The three from Thompson. Milwaukee with the rebound. This game coming after a loss versus the Bulls. It's just so difficult to win when you waste as many chances at the line as they did. Yeah, and you know, to come up short at the line is frustrating because that's controllable and it's actually a free throw. So you feel like you leave loose change out there when you don't convert. Drew Holiday. Holiday. Nice start for him, sinking his first shot. You know, Drew Holiday has so many great attributes, but I think maybe perhaps the best one is his mindset. He's even keeled, he competes at a high level, and he never backs away from a challenge. Curry, no good. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Perfect night so far. Two yes. for two. And with Giannis, a little power goes a long way, getting him past the makes Now, if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Outside Curry. On the wing, Thompson. Fires in the triple. I really believe we can go ahead now and lock Clay Thompson in on a short list of the greatest pull-up shooters in the NBA. And we might be talking the all-time list. And slam that thing through. <laughs> a nasty two-hander. Max Force, throw that <laughs> That finish brings me back to the old days. Simply smooth finger roll. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Portis for three. Hauled in by Curry. The Warriors trailing. Pass to Wiggins. Wing shot on the way. And again, it's Golden State. Staying alert and aware, we can see his man flash to an open spot. Passes right on the money. Golden State foul. And looking at the career of Curry, his legacy is set. The titles, records, numbers all cemented him as a legend. Here's Holiday. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. You know, the athleticism of Holiday and his size ensures that even inside, he's an effective scorer. Back to Curry. And the Warriors with another three. 
At the time, some have doubted Curry's legacy. Hard to make a case against him, though, in my opinion. I agree, B.A. He has produced in every capacity. It's just a matter of how great he is. One of the top three point guards of all time. And he's able to get it back. Shot clock at five. Here's Middleton. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Clay Thompson picks one up. You know, sometimes all you can do is knock Middleton around, be physical with him, and hope the shot doesn't go in. I mean, he's got a long, expansive reach and a nice, soft touch inside, and that presents problems for the defense. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike, he's going to cash in more than not. You know, we can't measure Hart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset is incredible. Pass to Lopez. Back to Middleton. And here's Lopez. Puts the move on. And it's Lopez with the jam. Yeah, bully ball in his way to the rack that time. Lopez with a great second effort. And here's Peyton. He's been productive, averaging just over seven points a game. Pass to Poole. Here's Kaminga. And that's not going to go. It's a tie game in San Francisco. And what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one? Well, clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. Thompson attacking. That one goes. Count it. Thompson. Thompson's got five. As his career has developed, Clay has added this to his arsenal, becoming more than just a shooter. To the inside. Here's Connaughton. And it comes off the front of the rim. And the foul on Brook Lopez. That's his, That's his first, first foul of the game. The Warriors leading. Outside Curry. Launches it. And here's Thompson for three. Another three for Golden State. With perfect mechanics, too. Clay Thompson's jumper is a work of art. An all-time shooter. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Looking at the modern game, Grant, what adjustments would you have to make in your game to thrive in the league today? Well, I would have worked more on developing the three-point shot. Back in the 90s, it was more about the mid-range game, uh, a la Michael Jordan. But these guys now, they live at the arc, and that's just not how we did it back in the day when I was playing. personal foul, second team foul. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Kept alive. Pass to Kaminga. Right side, Curry. Again, Golden State. Curry's release is so quick as a defender. You can't afford to give him any space. You can't lay off at all. Ibaka down low. To the left side wing. Stolen by Wiggins. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Ali LaForce. Brian, we know that Stephen Curry generally is regarded as the greatest shooter the game has ever known. He said for him, quote, it starts with a great base and foundation and allows everything to feel perfect. The perfect shot feels effortless to me. Serene and quiet. It's only me, the rim, and the basketball. Powerful words from Stephen. It is a thing of beauty, Allie. Excellent. Three-pointer. They get it back. And Looney with the slam. The Bucks trail. On to Kumpo. Outside. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Green. Here's Thompson. Another shot. An easy two on the layup. Thompson's got seven points for the quarter. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats from the Warriors. Their frenetic defense has been impressive. Putting ball handlers on the defensive and turning them over as well. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is working hard on the offensive glass. They've had a number of putbacks. Two shots. 
Brent, you know, when Giannis takes a shot, the defense wins if it's a shot outside of the paint. They want him taking jump. No one covering. Wiggins has gotten himself going with a triple, his first basket of the game. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. You know, Clark, to be honest, it's impossible to keep him out of the paint. Well, once he gets in there, it's too late. I mean, fortunately, he knows that's his strength, and he butters his bread in there. Still, sometimes, he'll bail out a team with that jump shot. Here's on it, Akumpo. He can't get that one to fall. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. Strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Here's Green. Giannis with the rebound. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play, wrong result. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And a huge sigh of relief for Bucks fans last year. Giannis signing a monster contract extension. He'll continue to be the franchise for years to come. Both teams deciding to change it up. And you know, Grant, many wondered if Giannis would test free agency. Ultimately, avoided all that drama. Yeah, I mean, he wanted to stay and build a winner with the Bucks, And you know what? He did just that. Bringing home the NBA championship. What a reward for the fans in the city of Milwaukee. And just tremendous character from Giannis. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Kuminga. Jonathan Kuminga. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Warriors lead by 14. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. It's Middleton on the wing. Here's Antetokounmpo. And the jam by Antetokounmpo. Once Giannis gets going now, he stays hot. He's capable of putting the entire offense on his broad shoulder. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Yeah, don't give them another possession here. To the paint. Here's Bielitsa. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. And once more this half, they find a way to Price. Bucks up. And out of bounds. Milwaukee will have it. Unforced turnover. Oh, stolen by Peyton. And so it's Clay Thompson making and after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. And it's good. Two points. I tell you what, he clearly is one of the best players in the league who does not get the same kind of gas that other guys do. But there's no better all-around guard in the NBA than Drew Holiday. From Stephen Curry. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor. The assist. Portis gets the bucket. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Back to Curry. Three-pointer. And the Warriors with another three! Anytime Curry gets a look from deep, he's letting it fly. And he's probably knocking it down, too. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. You can't say enough about his individual performance. I don't think you can overstate it. I mean, even if the all-around team effort's been lacking, this guy's been on top of things. Here's Green. Golden State ball time called ball. here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Something just clicked for him when he was with the Pelicans. 
Milwaukee on D. They trail by 11. Here's Middleton. His scoring ability is impressive. Averaging 20 a Three game. Points. Portis gets the bucket. That would be four in a row for him now as they have come racing out of the gate to start this second half. So let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, the Warriors have had a big problem committing fouls. Coach Steve Kerr has drilled them on moving their feet, not getting baited into the cheap ones. He said, quote, we talk about it every day. And Stephen Curry said, quote, it's on all of us to hold each other accountable, being in the right position. Yep, and that's why he is who he is. Good stuff, Allie. Here's Holiday. Soft touch off the glass. Holiday's got six points. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Curry with it. 16 points for him. Just five to shoot. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. His first personal foul. And Curry is always a threat to shoot, which is why defenses sometimes get too aggressive guarding him. And so Curry nails both of them. And Milwaukee has possession. It's a 10-point game. Down low. Here's Lopez. Got a hand on it. Pass to Nora. Back to Lopez. And he banks in the layup. Lopez. Lopez has got his third basket on the night right there. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough oh, emphasis. I mean, oh. the defenders are just not being aggressive From enough play. down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. So it's Milwaukee now. After the Warriors picking up a basket just a moment ago. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his Kevon Looney picks one up. Drafted all the way back in 2008. Brook is still going strong in the league. Credit to Lopez. Still expanding his game. He's a key call on any team he's played for. Now here's Curry. He's got 18. Thompson shot is off. You know, at the end of the day, size does matter, especially on the glass. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. Here's Holiday. After the Warriors picking up a basket just a moment ago. And the lamp is good off the glass. Holiday's got eight. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. The Bucks trail. Ball stolen. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. 59 seconds foul. left in the third quarter of the game. On the wing, Thompson. Here's Kuminga. Oh, and it's flushed down. down. A nice jam. We highlight Thompson scoring often. But right there, just a great read to get it to the open teammate. Back to Connaughton. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first push. Man, good whistle there. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. At the line for the Bucks. That one's off. And the Bucks making a change here. He hits the second from the line. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. The shot by Looney, no good. Now Allen, he's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. Chris Middleton. And that one's good, Middleton. And, and they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Pretty clear, it's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. 
And here's Thompson for three. That's his fourth miss out of ten attempts. It's stolen by Looney. The three from Curry. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's the gold. Here's Curry. Thompson right side. Outside, Green. To the inside. Curry. He's now 8 for 11 after that made shot. Tell you what, it's just one of those nights where Curry finds a rhythm and just keeps on flowing. This show never gets old. And on to Takumbo with the stuff. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hander. Here's Holiday. Oh, nice D from Curry. To the paint. To the middle. Puts up a three. Rebounded by the Bucks. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. And the basket by Holiday. And this is just ball. safe with Holiday on the floor. Grant, he is one of the great ball hawks in the NBA. Yeah, he reads plays very well. He has a good wingspan to swipe away errant passes. One of the many reasons Holiday is such a great defender. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr had to say to the team. He complimented the three-point shooting. He said, quote, it's one thing to get the look, it's another to bury it. I believe in you guys. I think you've got this game on lock. Let's go out there and let's take this, guys. All right, appreciate it, Allie. Here's Green. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. And the Warriors lead by four. In crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Portis. And then Portis with the dunk. You know, this is what happens when you combine center size with developing point guard skills. Giannis running the offense to perfection right there. Curry, that's good. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. Giannis yep, that on one goes. Goal. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. All eyes on Steph when he has the ball. His teammates find openings, and he finds them. It's stolen by Holiday. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Middleton. Kaminga pulls it in. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim. The Warriors leading. Inside. Outside Curry. They double-team Curry. Back to Wiggins. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his second personal foul. It's on Drew Holiday. And when you see Wiggins starting to develop that mindset, the line that the mental edge, knows he has the defender in trouble, and he's able to draw two the foul as a result. Two minutes. Here's Hanna de Kumpo. And a miss layup. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. Chris Middleton. That's his first foul That's of the his game. First personal foul. Second team foul. Right side green. Yeah, I don't want to dismiss the defensive chops of Antetokounmpo. I mean, he is so good at handling himself on the defensive end, whether he's guarding his own guy or in position to help his teammates. Golden State with the ball. And the Warriors miss again. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Double team on Holiday. Missed inside. And we've got 118 left to play in the fourth quarter. Wiggins outside. Curry with it. Guarded now by Holiday. The kick out. Curry. Shot clock at six. Warrior. Time called here. The Warriors decide. Just five on the clock. 
Thompson, that's good. Play. Excellent feed from Thompson. Steph Curry. The Bucks trail. Pass to Portis. Back to Allen. Fifty-two seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Anadokounmpo. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Green. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, I tell you what, the long arms of Anadokounmpo are really incredibly lethal in the paint. Sometimes the defense really has no choice but to foul him and then hope he misses. Anadokounmpo taking two shots. And so Anadokounmpo nails both of them. Those are big free throws. Now they need some defensive stops. And so they foul intentionally. That's his second personal foul. So the first one drops. And that makes it a seven-point lead. At the line. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's an eight-point ball game. There's 37 seconds left to the game. Oh, Giannis dunks it home. And in addition to his great talent, Anto Tacumpo has the reputation of being an outstanding leader as well. He's a clutch player who demands the ball in these situations. You love that. Portis gets the bucket. Here's Curry. And now we've got an intentional foul. That's his third personal foul. Good on the first. And that makes it a seven-point lead. You never really get tired of watching Curry do his thing. The stroke on his shot is such a thing of beauty. And when he's dialed in, his offensive performances are just tremendous. Mm -hmm. Dependable performance from Holiday. So reliable. This is a guy who is unshakable mm -hmm. by the high stakes in that situation. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid him. I, mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands. Thoughts? Trying to extend this one, but it seems futile. You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or, or maybe not. It's, it's a long shot, though. Jordan to the Nora. inside. Here's Nora. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so both free throws good, and it's an eight-point ball game. And on their 60-second drill, even if it doesn't pay off tonight, maybe for the future. Here's Carter. Good D by Payton. Pool outside. And so the Warriors take the win. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. And that's going to do it tonight, folks.